chamber music is a excellent opportunity to hone in communication skills, to figure out how to lead, how to follow, and how to use your instrument to do more than just playing music. I am Marie Daniels, and I am the director and founder of the Woodlands Chamber Fest. So Chamber Fest is an opportunity for students to get to play in small chamber groups, something that doesn't always happen during the school year. The students are in preformed groups that are made based on their audition. We have um, three rehearsals throughout each day. They're broken up with um, some faculty workshops, lunchtime, but it's a very unique environment in the fact that they have four or five days to put together a piece for a concert. Uh, my name is Spencer Melander and I play the cello. One of the more challenging parts is you get the music a few weeks in advance and you get to learn it on your own, but then you've never played with any other people, so you get here and you all have to put it together within five days, which sounds scary and challenging, but with the help of the coaches and the fact that you get it a few, day, a few weeks in advance, uh, it, it uh, is actually a lot less challenging than it seems, but it is one of the more challenging parts of Chamber Fest. One of the pieces we're playing is uh, on wings of song, and it, but it's really neat because it's in 6 eighths time, which I don't normally play in, and I'm the person in the group that has to keep everyone together, so uh, it, it is a little stressful because if I mess up, everything falls apart, but it also uh, helps me grow as like the cellist. My name is Debbie Chu, and I play the cello. So I've learned how to like work with other people to make music and to not just focus on my personal playing because I think I tend to do that a lot and it's been a great experience because I've been put with people who are higher level than I am and people who like can also learn from me so it's like a good like trade-off. I think it's initially getting over the awkwardness in your group and being able to like criticize each other in a good way and not to like be offended or like offend other people, I think. But once you get past that, it's really, it's a great experience. My name is Luke Fleming. I play the viola and I'm a faculty member here at Chamber Fest. As a faculty member, I coach chamber groups. That's actually the, the bulk of what I do here is coaching. So over the course of the festival, I also had a couple of the workshops. Just today, I, I led a workshop on public speaking which is not just for kids, but for anyone, a really hard thing to do. And just kind of talking about positive examples of it and negative examples, what to do, what not to do, and then practicing actually doing it. Uh, it's, it's really fun. The kids really react well to the workshops, and I think they're learning something they really don't have uh, usually a, in their toolkit. It's kind of a, a specific skill set when you talk about chamber music to a, a young person. Olga Nash and I play violin. I learned how to like play with other people, like let other people like take the lead and like speak up in a group setting and like share opinions. And even when we disagree, like be able to like um, find like an in-between whenever we're disagreeing on things. Like I think that's definitely a skill I learned. Right now we're playing a trio by Hofmeister. And um, it was interesting, like when we first got the piece, like I couldn't find any like versions of it online. I didn't know how it's going to sound and stuff. And it's just, I don't know, it came together really good. And it's going to be, it's fun. I group really works well together. At the end of Chamberfest, we have a concert. And for most of us, we think this is the culmination of the week. Uh, but to me, it's, it's so much more than that. At the final concert, to me, what makes me really happy is, is not just seeing what they do on the stage, but seeing the hugs as they say goodbye, seeing the pictures and the jokes that are shared between the groups having had this uh, bonding time over the last week, and especially seeing them talk on stage, um, seeing how professional these young students are able to present themselves and Maybe they've done it for the 10th time, maybe it's the first time, but 
in any case, it's something very difficult and I'm always incredibly happy and proud to see um, the way that they've grown in this short amount of time.